Hello there. I hope that all in your house are keeping safe and well. And I just want to bring my prayerful good wishes to you. I've chosen a reading that's all about love today. 1 Corinthians 13. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. And the final verse of that chapter is, And now these three remain, faith, hope and love, but the greatest of these is love. On Wednesday, our house here was very boisterous. My two grandsons celebrated their birthdays. And the youngest, Elias, at four years old, his favourite present was Mr Potato Head. It has provided hours of fun and amusement and birthday celebrations this year, of course, are very different. They involve FaceTime calls, messages and family-only parties. Despite the differences and the distance between family members, these special celebrations keep us going. And it's also the gift of love that keeps us going in life. When we watch out, there are many signs of love, even at this time, in our community. Last night, Thursday evening, at 8pm, we joined our neighbours in celebrating the NHS and care workers, clapping at our doors and calling out to each other across the street, whooping, cheering and whistling. And then, on our daily walks, I've noticed a bin with a picture of a rainbow and a thank you message. In response to a nationwide call for volunteers, hundreds of thousands of people have heeded the call to help, which has been so heartening. And the work of those in food banks and other essential support networks has been amazing. In a world where the daily reality of illness and death is the lead item on every news outlet. The inspiring stories of love, help and new friendships lift our spirits and encourage us to keep going. The gift that keeps us going that we cherish the most is the gift of love. It's the message we see in the NHS workers and care workers, in the army of volunteers, in the food banks and other essential support services. The message of love is being called out from neighbour to neighbour, in rainbow pictures, in community singing and dancing at safe distances, in new friendships and in inspiring stories of those helping others. Love will be clearly seen this weekend as believers all across Ireland draw together in a call to prayer, a time to stop and to seek the love of God, the mercy of God, the presence of God and the healing of God upon our whole land and its people. There's even ways in which children can join in by drawing their crosses of hope and colouring them in and displaying them. I am inspired by the inventiveness of those in the church, posting prayers in the online prayer room and words of encouragement, by our email prayer chain team, praying for those dealing with illness or other needs at this time of heightened concern. I'm inspired by our music team, meeting, singing and recording with each other from their homes. Their songs have been truly uplifting and will stay in my memory long after this crisis ends. At a time 
when circumstances keep us apart in proximity. These expressions of love and many others draw us closer together. The famous Bible passage, 1 Corinthians 13, is very clear that the greatest gift God has given us is the gift of love. As verse 3 says, Even if I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames, but have not love, I gain nothing. The lesson for all believers is that we may carry out all kinds of things that look or sound brilliant, but they'll count for nothing without love. So take the most excellent way of love. More than ever, we should ask ourselves, is love the virtue that is most clearly seen in our lives? The gift of love, like every gift, has to be given away. Many years ago, CMS Ireland had a theme song for their annual Sunday Schools project called Caring Means Sharing. And that's still true today. Love means caring and sharing with others. The questions that we should be putting to ourselves are, what is the loving thing that I can do? How can I help those who are most vulnerable? Who do I know who would most need a phone call or to have their groceries brought to their door? Who is going hungry and needs food brought to them? Who has an ill member of their family who would value a friendly voice, practical support or someone to pray for them? So make a point of having the most vulnerable in mind and ask, what's the most loving thing I can do? An inspirational paraphrase of 1 Corinthians 13 that I found helpful in recent days closes the chapter with these words. Love trusts that in everything God works for good. Love looks forward to the future glory promised by God. Love is not shaken even by the worst of storms. Love is eternal. And the gift of love comes through the Holy Spirit dwelling in our lives. It is the gift from God above all others that can change our lives and the lives of others. As we approach this Easter, there will be many, many conflicting thoughts in our minds. I would encourage you all to take time to think about the greatest love of all. The love that caused Jesus to give his life for you on the cross. If you've held back on receiving his redeeming love, this Easter is a time to change that, to invite Jesus into your life, to let his forgiveness, grace and love change your life forever. And as you give thanks for the self-giving love of the Lord Jesus Christ, allow the Holy Spirit to grow love in your hearts and share that self-giving love with others through your words and actions this Easter time. So now may the love of God enfold you. May he bless you and all those whom you love this Easter and forevermore. Amen.